Hi, welcome to MeToo. My name's Marge. I'm a Hulk empath, and I just like doing these little talks and the way I feel about things. And thought, well, figure if I don't do a video now, I'm probably not going to do one today. Had a pretty rough day around here. Got Luna over here resting comfortably. I noticed a couple, she's been having a hard time jumping up on her bench, so um, I'm keeping an eye on her clothes and. They ate their breakfast this morning about four, and she freaking came and whined at the thing. And I knew something's wrong. I knew she's tender to the touch. She's sensitive, extra, and so I just I let her come in and got everyone situated because she usually sleeps out there. Because she and Tucker will wake up and you're a threat and clash and. So, but I figured she knows she does. She wasn't gonna be up to anything like that. Cause she didn't feel good, so she came in. So I've been up since about four, and um, was able to get her into the vet today. So we gave her some 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 medicine, so she'll rest, and some a little bit of anti-inflammatory. And I'm just nursing her, you know, no stairs, so I carry up and down the stairs, and she's she's resting comfortably, man. It's just these. My mom, you know, I, my mom and my dogs are all, they're all I got, you know, <laughs> and it's, uh, they're my family, they're all the family I have, so, when there's a threat, you know, it freaking, <laughs> with my endocrine system, they shorted out as it is from just years and years of <laughs> handling situations, difficult situations, that now it's just like, it's very taxing, you know, but what I want to talk about today, I listened to a few different, you know, conversations that people were having, and, and the way the world, you know, the fact of the, the reality of the situation is, is <laughs> the country's birth chart, <laughs> according to the time that the declaration, whatever was signed, you know, it's having its plural return, and that's the energy that it's either going to make you or break you, you know, you're going to show people who you really are, you know, and and it might be real different than, than the representation of what you've been showing for many, many years, you know, it's the mass unveiling, you know, whatever you see in the news, turn it off, turn it off, they're not going to sort anything out, it's only going to get worse. Just turn it off. You know, if you feel compelled and freaking go vote in those goofball elections, you know, whatever. But freaking, all you're going to see is more and more dissidents until people start shifting from living outwardly a materialistic, egotistical manner than going to live, than going inward. And finding that all the materialistic stuff, all the show that is put on day after day, year after year, it doesn't matter. And what matters is humanity. That should be the only thing that we should be working to. And the earth. Earth and humanity. The, the ecosystem, which is our home. Everybody knows money doesn't buy happiness and at the world there's at the current it, from what I know of history you know there's more millionaires and billionaires on this planet and than there has been in any other time in history there's also more homeless and those and it's just it's the great divide it's the time of the great divide you know people if you, I'm talking about like the freaking people that just have so much money that they don't even, money isn't even a, it, they just go around and do whatever they want, and they swipe a card, everyone should be able to live like that, live like that, you know, there's enough excess, there is, and that's what's happening, once, can't wait till the, the, um, I do a lot of numbers here of fraud, waste, and abuse that states do, and, and, uh, can't wait till more accountants start looking at the numbers, you know, like, God, you guys have really been wasting a lot of money, you know, you could, you could do a lot of the stuff that you do 
at a lot less cost. And if you do it locally from your own cities and stuff like that. But like the city of Oregon, they get concrete blocks from Washington because somebody knows a guy who needs, you know, wants to make it's it's all these wheels and deals, you know. We're sick of your wheels and deals and 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 you know, there's more <sighs> there's more regular people than the people in DC, you know. If you can think about how few of people are wrecking the whole nation, it's pretty gross. Just 436, 37, because there's 400, there's 100, anyway. <laughs> the ratio, the numbers are off. Benny's mad because he's not in a spot where he gets usually sick. Huh. Well, are you going to try and cooperate because Luna don't feel good? I'll try and accommodate you the best you can. There have been times you've been woeful too. Yeah, so, anyway. Um, it's why people, all these readers and stuff are saying why it's so important to freaking find your soul tribe. You know, I'm trying so hard to find, I'm trying so hard to find freaking people like me, man. That I can just freaking work with to freaking get in a better standing, man. I'm trying so hard. I don't know. I guess it's divine timing because it doesn't matter what I do. It's like I get a dial tone at the end. You know, every now and again, someone, you know, chimes in and I'll freaking talk to them and I'm like, no, we ain't the same vibe next, you know, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm too into my knowing and my own beliefs, you know, I'm not going to freaking mess around, life's too short and I'm too tired, um, so yeah, it's really important to find your soul tribe, you know, find people that are like you, that have the same mindset and want to go in the same direction with you, you know, it's not going to get any easier, you know, we go back to communal living, man, it's, it'll be a lot easier to go back to communal living, Do they ain't got, think about how many, Think of, when I think about like how I slip through the craps of society, and I'm a freaking college-educated um, veteran, even decorated veteran in the United States Air Force, and um, I've been made to be like a second or, or third class citizen because I made the choice to take care of my mom, not put her in a nursing home. And the the fact is, is I'm 45 years old. And um, this is more and more common for people my age, because our parents are the baby boomers, you know. And they're getting, they're getting on, you know. So, and not a lot of people have a lot of money, you know. And those, they don't take care of people in nursing homes anyway. I mean, they charge them like three, four thousand dollars a month, and then they hire minimum wage workers that are mad about their jobs. It's just stupid. So it's more of that stuff. It's more the the whole. What's going to happen, well, what's going to need to happen is either the world is going to need to degreed or it's going to get terribly, terribly, terribly hectic and chaotic and really, really ugly. Because, I don't know, I don't have a gun, but I know that they just freaking sold about enough guns and uh, had enough people doing freaking um, background checks to freaking give all the Marines a gun, so... There's already plenty of guns out there, you know. I don't. I personally, I'm a marksman too, you know. I hit my target. I'm M16, freaking whatever. Give me a few minutes, I'll dial in. I'll shoot my target, you know. It's how I've always been. I've ever since I was a little girl, I hit my target with rocks. I hit my target with axes. I hit my target with throwing stars. You know, I got a knack for that. You know, I'm native. I, I get dialed in to my own rhythm and. When you do that, you hit your target. So, um, but I don't like guns, you know. I don't. I'm I'm not into that. Might is right. I'm not into that. Any of that misogynistic freaking. I'm man. I'm smart. I'm right stuff. And the thing of it is, is that when women have too much masculinity in them, too, that they act freaking like crazy, egotistical freaking maniacs too. Like that NP chick, that Pelosa broad or whatever. I mean, they're just all freaking plastic, man. They're so void of spirit that they're just completely running on ego. And then when you get so many people that do that, this is the world we get. So people, a bunch of smaller people. And, and you know, it's like what I see is like I see about 15% like workers like me freaking just busting my butt just trying to get people just to think and it did well I don't know about them my point is just trying freaking think for yourselves and not take the imposed narrative you know 
do a little research, stuff like that. I don't care if people agree with me or not. Heck, I don't agree with most of the world, so people agree with me or not, they never have it, don't hurt my feelings none. I just want people to think for themselves and stand in their integrity, you know. Heck, even if you're a scumbag, even if you're low-life, freaking opportunistic, freaking um, conformist, you know. Lord knows there's enough of those in the world. So it's, I see like, you know, there's like 15% light workers. Um, there's about 35, 40% people just don't care because they're just going to keep watching their football games. And, you know, oh, I, my work will let me off so I can go vote and I can get out of work for a couple hours. Maybe go get a sandwich or something and then I'll get my sticker. You know, there's like people with their head in the sand. Now, I think that percentage is a little bit higher. That was probably closer to 65, 70%. <laughs> 65. And then light workers. And then the rest are the, 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 the control freaks, the leftover, the control freaks that are ruining all this stuff for everybody else, you know? And it's just like, the thing of it is, is control freaks and bullies and freaking dudes that hit women and people that take advantage of people and like to get people drunk to get them to do what they want and, and all that low vibrational behavior all that stuff can't survive in the way the world's headed so and you know people have been doing that for so long you can't hide the truth the truth is a vibration and a frequency too and it's beginning to ring you know so um don't take too much to heart about what you see in the media, man. Don't. Just don't. Just turn it off. There ain't a whole lot going on, you know. Um, I, I've been, I have just been, have mad background noise because I've just been so tired today and just trying to be present, you know, and breathing just to maintain my, my stress level, you know, because my dogs are my kids and I love them so much, so... I don't trust people that don't trust animals. It tells me that they're a psychopath or some sort of in severe imbalance. But anyway, um, that's what's happening, in the, and that's what's going to continue to happen until, like, hey, and I have faith these freaking rich people can turn around and start handing out money in the streets to homeless. You know, they could have a change of heart. It's about to be Ebenezer Scrooge, the Christmas Carol season, you know, and I think it's so funny because we get these stories... For every season, year after year, to open your heart and be more generous and more kind and more loving, and all I see is more, more nonprofits and and when I see nonprofits with like you know, the people that are running them driving freaking Mercedes and Audis and stuff like that, I'm like, nah, you're all for profit. So, anyway, be use your discernment, man. Find some peace inside. Get quiet. Just start meditating like five minutes a day, man. Everybody just did that more and more did that built work up to it some days I can go an hour some days I can only go 40 minutes some days I don't do it at all but gotta have a spiritual practice man discipline we're not seeing a world with any kind of discipline in it so anyway that's all I got for now hope you have a rad evening peace